All right. Good morning, young people. Hey, we are again before the Lord and uh, the presence of the Lord through the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we have all this character here to uh, guide us every day and to help us uh, to live victorious. This is what the life of every Christian is all about. And so I welcome you to increase your faith today and to improve your, your service and your life before the Lord God and men uh, that people might come to you for the answers that are within you as a born-again believer. Now, as you study the Word of God, certain things happen. We shared yesterday about how God's releasing His Spirit, uh, that we would have dreams and visions. So those things don't just come so that we could say we had a dream that night, or we had a dream, or we had a vision today. They come because there's a purpose of God uh, in, re in relational purpose to us, uh, in speaking to us. And He doesn't come to embarrass us to condemn us none of those things uh, because jesus is high priest now he's interceding for us so there's no condemnation to those who are in christ jesus okay so god comes to bring us into alignment with his his intents for that season for the future uh, for dealing with the enemy and all of these things are things that we saw how God revealed these things through prophets and through apostles and throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, and they haven't stopped. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he's still dealing. And he made us a promise over in the book of Joel that these things were going to happen in the end time uh, because his people were going to live such a life that they were not going to be ashamed, and his people were going to have an excitement about them because their rejoicing comes from the Lord, okay? Now, when we get into... Uh, the book of Romans, and please go with me this morning uh, to the book of Romans chapter 12. If you guys have ever been around my wife at any time in the past, all right, and she taught this for years and years and years and years and years because we know and understand how powerful it is, uh, Romans chapter 12. Now this deals with, you say, well, how does this deal with dreams and visions and prophetic words? Well, here, this is where it all starts, okay? And you heard me mention a little bit about it yesterday morning. He says, I beseech you, Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord. So who is this going to be acceptable to? Unto the Lord. Okay, that means that there are going to be things that you're going to have to do that men won't accept, but God will. Okay, uh, the life that you live, you present that life before the Lord. Some things you have to cut habits. Some things you have to cut hobbies. Some things you have to do a lot of things to get in. Uh, to be aligned with some of the things that God want to do through your life. And you're going to have to learn to do that. Okay, he says this, which is your reasonable service. And he says, and be not conformed to this world. All right, don't be shaped, don't be molded the way the world does things. This is all he's saying. All right, and this is not some religious thing. This is just common sense, spiritual sense coming from God to us so that our common sense would line up with his spiritual sense. Okay, and, uh, and again, when the word of God comes to us, this is what God believes. So if God believes this, you certainly should believe it, right? <laughs> all right. He says, and be not conformed to this world. All right. This is the Holy Spirit saying this. This is what the Holy Spirit believes. This is what he knows. Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Okay. So he's saying that our minds must be involved in, in uh, being able to prove what is right, okay? The knowledge of God, okay? Getting the knowledge of God. Now, these are some of the notes from a couple of years ago. I did this 50 night thing, talking about these different revelations uh, and the potentials of different things. And this one comes out of communication. And so what I wanna do is I wanna read this because uh, again, these are things that I taught a couple of years ago. You know, they are, they are not so that out of my mind, but every time I read things that I wrote years ago, it refreshes my mind in areas that I don't have to deal with every day because we're constantly growing in different in different things, just like you, okay? Uh, here's something about Romans, and I taught about, about communication, okay? Whenever we spend time with God, all right, whenever we spend time with the Lord in the Word, we become less emotional. That's right, all right? Remember uh, 3 John 2, beloved, a, a, a beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers, okay? And your emotions are part of your soulless realm, okay? All right, now, hold on with me now. Don't, don't kick it out because, again, emotions are relational. That's why you can't uh, trust them. 
because they are relational with everything. And especially if you're not, you know, if you haven't renewed your mind, your emotions are relational with everything that's wrong and everything that has happened wrong and every bad experience in life. It is relational to those things, okay? All right? Now, again, whenever we spend time with God, we become less emotional, okay? The more we apply the Word of God, which is the wisdom of God. Remember back in January, I taught 31 nights on the wisdom of God, okay? The more we apply the Word of God, okay, the less we depend on the human will, okay? The human will, what I will do. Now my will begins to shift over to what God wills, not what I will. Remember Jesus? Not my will, but your will, Father. Okay? So the more, the more we apply the word of God in our life, the more I get rid of my will, my humanistic will, and the more I take in the word of God, I'm going to do God's will. Okay? That's not all. Okay? The more we use our sanctified conscience, okay, the more we use our sanctified conscience, Okay, which means laying aside personal agendas and all this, which I was saying a little while ago. Okay, uh, the less we depend on the human mind or human knowledge to rule us, because now I'm depending on how my conscience is speaking to me about things, the right and the wrong things. Okay, so my conscience now, man, now all of these things happen. The more we spend time in the Word of God, we begin to develop this this uh, this attitude and this battleground. Okay, here in our hearts, all over, everything begins to have this battleground attitude toward the things of the, of the senses. Okay, this, this is what we're getting to, all right? Because in order to understand dreams and visions and things, I have to be a strong spiritual person in both realms. Not just my spirit man is born again, you know, then I've done nothing with my mind, nothing with my emotions, nothing with my will. No, 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 no. My my soulless man also must be developed to to walk with, in agreement with the Holy Spirit. The things that are coming out of my uh, newborn man. I must be able to to connect with those things so that we might walk together. When I'm walking together with someone then I have the time to understand what they're saying to me. But if I'm in a fight with someone, I'm not listening at what they're saying to me. Okay? I'm not there to get understanding. I am there to defend myself. And if we don't, if we don't operate in these two realms and bring these two realms together, all right, the Word of God becoming our will, the Word of God becoming our emotional status, the Word of God becoming that, that part where we do everything from. If I don't get that straight with the Holy Spirit, then I can't hear Him talking because my soulish man is fighting against coming into agreement with Him. Okay? I, I'm hoping you guys get this. I'm, I'm going to explain a little bit more here in a minute. Okay? So what we end up doing in this relational tug of war, as it says in the book of Galatians chapter 5, what we end up doing is we end up, if we don't come together, we end up fighting, all right? And if I'm fighting what God is bringing me in a vision, if I'm fighting what God is showing me in a dream, I can never understand the purpose of that dream or that vision. You'll never understand it, okay? And, uh, and you'll never get to align your thoughts, uh, your life. You'll never get to align these particular things up so that when God is speaking to you and bringing you all these wonderful things in this time, you're going to miss out on those things, all right? And we don't want you to miss out. We're going to continue this tomorrow morning on Daily Bread. God bless you. Study yourself. Good to be approved under God. Amen.